Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Rule the Waves 2 as Germany episode number 20. And with episode number 20 comes version 1.03. Now mind you, I did solve the problem with us having this uh, extra fortification, which is just X's and stuff. It probably resulted from my uh, takeover of, uh, what was it that we took over? The Bismarck Archipelago. So we won't be doing that again. Trust me, that caused me way too much headache and, you know... If once I get a little bit better at the same game editing, uh, maybe if I do offline, like on my own personal playthroughs, if I do stuff like that, I'll be more willing to do it. But I don't. It's not like super important to do anyway. I mean, we didn't really need to. I was content actually, even not to take the Bismarck Archipelagos, but we had some really good role playing to back it up. So I didn't. I also did not mind taking it. So uh, we are very close to unlocking light carriers. Um, one of the things we want is. Oh, I guess we could raise tensions by doing the fleet stuff, but uh, we want to continuously design more aircraft so that we're ready to go once the aircraft carriers come in. Um, for now, we are waiting for 1920 to come around so that we have oil firing. We just need to wait like nine more months <clears throat> and then we'll have oil firing. I mean, it's basically, we're going to have the budget very soon with only five months left on these blukers. So, okay. Getting some better stuff, technology very soon, I assume. I assume, I hope. Uh, what's our research settings at? So I don't know if amphibious invasions on high is really meaningful. Let's go to medium. I think we're going to get it eventually. So two in Iceland, two in Guangzhou Wan. Uh, yeah, we'll, you know, piss off. The... Okay, superimposed turrets on armored cruisers, or I guess effectively at this point, uh, heavy cruisers. So is this important for us? Not really. Actually, this all this does is remind me of the fact, the reminder I should make to everyone else is that around this time, I would say any time after 1910, armored cruisers are just so ineffective. They can get lucky and catch and like catch a light cruiser on trade protection um, if the other nation is using light cruisers to raid. However, the Number of times that has to happen to offset losing even one of them to um, a battle cruiser, which is very likely. The battle cruisers and armored cruisers are paired together in battles, so the battle cruiser is just much better. You don't want to be using armored cruisers, which is why you know people, a lot of people usually submit ship names for armored cruisers, at least in World of Ways One. And I was like never able to get through all the lists because we never, I never had an incentive to build that many. Uh, but with battle cruisers, we can actually, yeah, we have a chance. And not, uh, I, I would say that that's not what I meant to say. I should have said with heavy cruisers, we have a chance to get through those names because they will make a return. Okay, quadruple torpedo mounts. I don't know why we're getting quality. Oh, actually, this is really important for dual purpose guns. Um, USA whole construction proof design calculations. <clears throat> so let's look at the budget as well. We're a little bit above Great Britain. Probably because, well, I guess the average tensions are about what the British are. So we might actually have just a natural budget, which is higher than the British now. Um, the United States are going to continue to get further and further out of reach. And my goodness, they have 16 dreadnoughts, 12 battle cruisers. <coughs> wow, that is a big number. I don't even know how we're going to compete with that, frankly. Um, I kind of don't like this one. This is a very important technology to reduce weight. The U.S. is usually going to be a huge technological leader. It's a little bit of money. I'm going to say no, actually. Okay, incline belt. So incline belt increases the effectiveness of belt by 10%. So we can think of it as... I like to think of it as just 10% larger belt, which is an inch. If you're going on dreadnoughts, it's basically adding an inch of armor, which is pretty big. However, uh, it makes your deck armor more likely to be hit. Because the incline is literally something like this, which means that arcing shells are more likely to hit the top. If you have something like this, it's more likely to hit that. But if you have it like this, then it comes in and it hits the, the top part, the deck. So uh, basically, it's a trade-off. And if your deck is strong enough, I still think it's an okay thing. But... Uh, yeah, I mean, it's just a little bit different. It depends on if you want to focus on a strong deck. It's probably, Incline Belt is much, <clears throat> it's probably much better 
later in the game. Uh, early on, if you're trying to make your deck not so heavy because guns aren't big enough and aren't fired from long enough range and aren't penetrating a super lot of deck, it may not be as worthwhile. Go for the win. I don't really want to piss the... Okay, increased elevation, that's a very important one. We have it. Purpose-built aircraft carriers. Okay, so let's get to this right away. Uh, we have the new thing ready. Oh, uh, it's apparently left it somewhat underpowered. So I guess that means its engine will be a little bit less. Uh, it'll have a little less uh, speed or top speed or cruising speed, probably both. Um, anyways, but do nothing else matters. Now, one of the things I kind of regret is that I didn't, I never actually got to, um, oh, shoot. Okay, we actually need something else to go to Northeast Asia, which I forgot to do in my move to Northeast Asia. So this is, we need this for the area requirements. I believe we need one, is it two? So Northeast Asia is gonna lose. It's gonna have. Yeah, it only needs two because they're like forty-five hundred. No, they're fifty-five hundred each. What are you? Fifty-five hundred. So two of them will satisfy that. So it's gonna take us four turns before we can. I, I mean, it's it's before we're gonna have these designed anyway. Oh wait, no, we can do it right away. That's right. So let me only select the the uh, Koenig's Ica. We are going to get rid of mounts. I'm just not going to be using that. Give it a flight deck and give it 10 airplanes. We'll just pretend that this is possible. That's a lot of weight. Now, one thing which is I didn't think about this. I did not plan this for sure. However, one like really big benefit that we have is we can actually bulge this, lose the two knots, and it still puts us at the absolute minimum for a carrier, which is 20 knots. So um, the one thing this game, I don't know if this game models or not, I'd be kind of curious to see if it did, is do they model whether or not the extra speed would get have a, like increased reliability of aircraft landing and taking off? I don't know. Anyway, we're going to clear these turrets. We're going to actually just drop this down to like 3-inch ones. We have quality 1, 4-inch ones, so we'll probably use those for dual purpose. Take this down to 0. Uh, what we're going to be doing is adding 4 inch guns, yes, quality 1 4 inch guns, so we'll do this at port and starboard, port and starboard, we won't do midships, and port and starboard. So single turrets, that's 4 per side, 1, 2, 3, 4, I think so. Uh, this is what we'll do, and let me see if this by itself, which, well, we can get... 14 aircraft with this. Wow. Oh, we want director. We want dual purpose. Eh. We want increased elevation. So we'll probably have to take the ammo down a little bit, which is not acceptable. We'll have to do some other fix here. I like 2.5 and 2.5, so we probably won't want to change that. Where will this extra tonnage come from? I don't yet know. Uh, I guess we should actually do some superstructure management here. <laughs> Let's delete one of the funnels and... Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to be good at drawing this, but we'll just give something which is hopefully a little convincing. I like the little lip overhanging. Wait. No. Go like this. Oh, damn it. Wait. It actually works. Yeah, that's fine. I wanted asymmetric tunnels. A for, well, I guess we don't want it because uh, it's fine. But let's get rid of this line and let's do it from here now. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. And I guess we need a landing pad. There it is. No, this doesn't make any sense. Doesn't make any sense. Get rid of that. I don't know. Whatever. This is fine. We'll choose this to be a line. We'll just give it a nice line down the middle. Yeah, perfect. Good enough for me. Okay, so there's our new Koenig Saika. Um, I think that she's okay with 14 aircraft. 
barely, barely too much. What do we? I guess we. This is not ideal. Yes, yes. Overweight. Oh damn it. So or she's overweight. Damn it. <laughs> um, I really don't want to go down on the turrets. Ah, I this was perfect. I was really excited about this. Um, spot value. By the way, she can get. Okay, so spot value is independent of. It must be related to tonnage. But bulging has no effect. So we can only get 13 aircraft. I'm really not impressed with that. We're so close. Oh, you know what? We have light anti-aircraft. So actually, yes, we do want to go with um, 13 aircraft. And we'll get this way up. So that's probably enough. It does use um, high explosive. I probably need to also go in. I Did I already try to do this? And we'll take this just down so that she has a lot. It's pretty much her limit. Oh, we can get two more and just drop this by one. I'm fine with that. Okay, it's okay. So I know it's a little bit ugly, or maybe it's intentionally slanted to, to get, you know, a little diagonal to give them a little bit of extra room. Whatever. I mean, I know it's ugly, but I'm not the one who's supposed to be designing this stuff. <laughs> I should just pass these on to finish and let him redesign the, the actual um, ship graphic itself as well. So there it is. There's the the new light, our first aircraft carrier. And, you know, I'm not too disappointed in her. I think it's all pretty good. I mean, 13 aircraft is not a lot. Obviously, this is not, this is just a, a test case. But all is okay. And I'm trying to think, we just want to go one last check before we commit to this. We really can't get another aircraft. I mean, I guess getting a lot of light uh, AA positions is nice. We'll help with the dispersion. No! Oh my god, no! Oh, crap. I'm so sorry. I hate that we... Okay, let's do this very quickly. We know kind of what we wanted. Director. Okay, this doesn't matter, but take it down to zero. Clear. Um, 30. Do this quickly. It's down to 2.5. 2.5 is fine. Bulged. Um, okay, we want uh, four, one, two, three, four. Skip five, six, seven, eight. Single turret. Good. Uh, dual purpose. Good. 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 Light deck. Thirteen. And just do check, and it'll convert. Yes. Convert. All okay. Okay. So we're at twenty. What happened? What has changed? No. I hate this. I hate it when it does this to me. 23 tons of weight. Was this already what it was? No, we, we, we did, what did we have? Oh, we had 36 before? Ah, that's fine. That's fine. 155 is a good number. I want to do, I said, let's save this this time. I think this is good. She's actually going to have some pretty good belt armor. Four inch guns, which is not going to be much, but dual purpose mainly. We're just already thinking about aircraft. So we'll say all okay. And there is our first aircraft carrier. So we'll wait for the uh, Balmung to be replaced by the Grafen Cornelia. And then uh, we'll have a second aircraft carrier being produced. We actually have a good monthly balance. Uh, we have increased elevation, which is, I guess, important for the nice, whoops, the nice and uh, Increased elevation, and we don't have improved director yet. That's probably coming pretty quickly. I might even want to wait. We do have some AA positions. We'll drop the, yeah, okay, so we'll, we have a little bit of work to do on the nice and as soon as we get the better firing. Now, these are already missing the best fire control, but all right, let's hold off a little bit because what we want to do is get to 1920. <clears throat> I want to build a new battle cruiser. We're absolutely going to do it. The thing which is limiting right, me right now is just that I want to wait for 1920 so we have oil firing. In 1920, everybody, every nation is allowed access to oil firing, whether or not you have a colony with it or not. 
Oh, wow. She surpassed her design speed of 19 knots. That's really lucky. I, I'm actually quite quite surprised that happened. But it was it's necessary. She's gonna be. She's at 20 knots. At least she's at the same speed of the Hohenzollerns. <laughs> they want to buy. Yeah, well, it's the Russian government will give them anything they want because they're always gonna be way behind behind us. Unexpected advanced fire control. Improved director. Perfect. Okay, it's perfect. Now, oh wow, we don't have. Do we have this? You cannot continue without operational aircraft. Okay, we're working on that. Um, Research-wise, anti-aircraft. We have light AA, but we don't have... Yeah, it's another one of those weird things where they give you HA before they give you uh, improved effectiveness. So in the new patch 1.03, another thing which happens is that if you happen to unlock improved triples, it automatically unlocks for you, as I did manually, but it automatically unlocks for you uh, normal triple turrets. So that has now been patched. Okay, we are going to want to replace these Mosels as well. I mean, eventually. We can redesign four of them for now. Increased elevation. Improved director. Eesh. And they don't need director on the secondaries because they don't have secondaries. And what for, wow, it's perfect. <coughs> Anytime it goes down to zero, you just know it was perfect and you don't mess with anything. Although, if we were to do anything with this, it would be nice for it to have some mines. But look, it's perfect. What, what are we going to do? Drop it by another set? Let's see. What happens if we drop it? Because that's, that's quite a lot of money. I mean, quite a lot of, money. Quite a lot of uh, weight savings for going down to 140. We can get... 10 we can get nine mines i i guess if it was nine if it was 10 i would do it since it's nine i'm not going to do it although eventually these mosels i suppose will be relegated to just strategic duty and at that point they might as well have mines okay so schlichtings are back they probably also have to be just immediately sent right back out for increased and improved director drop this down I think we can get these guys down enough to have mines, and I think that this is a good call. So, 14 mines, improved director, 150, which is still more, or more or less the same, I guess, as the other ones. Um, oh, and AA guns, which are not... Yikes! <laughs> We'd have to get rid of, like, submerged mounts to do this. By the way... How is this possible? We have two in the same mount. Eight nine eight nine. Should be six seven eight nine. How did that happen? Okay. Now let's go to twenty mines and let's get some anti aircraft. Okay, this is very interesting. This is a pretty significant redesign for the Schlichting. And it's okay that we do this. Okay, five. Oh, heavy AA. Of course, I'm stupid. So the increase of heavy AA effectiveness is the double turrets. <laughs> Which we could try to put on these now. Although that would be probably prohibitive in terms of cost. AA directors, when we get them, affects medium and heavy. The dual purpose ones, but... Not the lights. <clears throat> So this will reduce the torpedo effectiveness of these, but I think even having one torpedo might be okay, because they do, they do have two reloads. And eventually we want to go to surface mount anyway. I think I'm okay with this change. How much is it? It's eight per rounds. Well, I like 150, so let's just stop right here. And yeah, she's nice. 27 knots is good. Not amazing, but good. She's at maxed out capability as far as the main gun go. Quality one already for six inches. Impre increased elevation. Okay, not quite. One step below it. Improved director could be advanced director. But this is a beast to deal with. She has the very good armor. I mean, I'm very happy with this selecting still. She's going to be functional for a long time. 
Um, obviously, she's not a light, an anti-aircraft light cruiser, but they haven't developed those roles yet anyway, so I'm not sure if we should be using them. Okay. We also know we want to do this one now. I mean, we do have the improved director. <clears throat> uh, we need the increased elevation. We want director secondaries. <clears throat> so this is okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm like clearing my throat a little bit. Doing a little bit better as far as sickness goes. Good. So this is actually going to give us a lot of anti-aircraft capability. In fact, can we do this? Can we do that? What? Huh. Oh, the dual purpose made a big difference. So I don't even know how we're putting these uh, ter tertiaries on. They're not explained. I guess they're just some places. Can we do dual? We can, which gives us enough weight, yeah, to do eight of them, which we're still okay with. This is four per side. I'm happy with that. <clears throat> this gives us, a, gives us a little bit of room to add some light AA as well. Okay, so we have eight light AA. Now we have some dual purpose guns. Wow, this is fit. Oh, these are not dual purpose. We have not invented dual purpose. Damn it. So probably it's a little too early to do this. Probably. I really want it though. Uh, 100? Maybe. Improved director means we're going to be hitting frequently, so ammo is not as big of a concern. We're going to get a new battle cruiser. Wow, this is called a, a battleship, though. When does this change happen? Is it 1919 when suddenly these are now called battleships and not battle cruisers? By the way, the big question is, is this going to make the Kaiser even more pissed off that we don't have quote-unquote battle cruisers, even though we have fast battleships? That, I don't know. I hope not. I'm actually surprised that you can do the turrets on top of, like, six-inch casemate stuff. This design is obviously, the Knights of the are never, should never be fleet escorts for our carriers, but I suspect that, that they will end up being exactly such. I wouldn't want that myself. Um, if you had nothing else, of course they're good, but they don't have the dual purpose. They don't have the anti-aircraft to defend themselves. Although in some sense, it would be nice almost to use the carriers in the reverse way, to use the carriers as escorts for the, the Knights of the to provide anti-aircraft and in the forms of fighters. Nonetheless, I think with the advanced director, which we'll have space for, we'll leave space for. Um, I'm gonna leave like 15 tons for that. So we'll go ahead with the dual purpose. How many can we get before there's too many? I don't remember. Looks like we're gonna be weight limited and nothing else. So we do have some dual purpose guns. It would be nice to get them into dual to double turrets. In fact, why don't I do that for now? I'm just gonna do it like this. This is a lot of AA positions, but there it is. We got 39 light anti-aircraft guns. That should add some dispersion. Um, what we want is dual purpose double turrets before we end up putting these tertiaries on, in which case we'll drop the light guns all the way down to zero or whatever. So what else does this need? I don't know. This might even be scrapped before it has that. Because what year is it from? Remember, our armor technology does not improve. They're built in 1913, which means they're, yeah, they're pretty recent. They're not even 10 years old yet. Not even 10 years old. Uh, yeah, we're going to sit here and fiddle with this all day, aren't we? I think I like this decision better. Well, I guess we could always, can you improve? The thing is, you can go back and get, uh, I like this. Okay, we're going to stick with this. Actually, I take this down preemptively. Yes, yeah, so we don't have to do it again later, which is going to be a big time replacement. So we'll just add, okay, we can only go to 114. That's good to know. 57. So we're going to leave 58 tons unused, but I'm okay with that for now. Um, it could be rounds per gun. Ah, it's really hard. 
just it depends on if we want to do another 12 month replacement to refit the ammo and i think we do i think this is a better scenario for us <clears throat> so that's increased elevation director secondaries which on with casemates is not we cannot do this right yeah secondaries above three inches must be casemates well this is something to consider what if we just went oh i know what we're gonna do these things are eventually not gonna have six inch guns at all they're only gonna have three inch dual purpose turrets as secondaries and they'll have a lot more anti-aircraft so for now this is fine <clears throat> eventually we will change this and this is just, I guess, the big downside of having, uh, what happened? I did something. Oh, let's go back to casemates. That's right. Okay, so this is good. This is fine. We'll leave it as this. Uh, we'll overwrite this. It's going to take a while for them to be refitted, but we'll just do it. Okay, so it's now a battleship. I hope the Kaiser doesn't complain about us not having battlecruisers. Damn it, we do have battlecruisers that just called... Dreadnoughts now. I mean, they're called battleships. They're called fast battleships. Oh, two more months <clears throat> before we can refit our other one on the eternal upheaval in Sumatra. We definitely want to do this. Go. No! Okay, we have better 17 inch guns. We already had 17 quality negative one. We now have quality zero. And our new torpedo bombers are ready. Okay, range of eight, 105 is fantastic. Decent enough speed. I mean, this is very long range. Even as a scout, it's good long range. You can carry a torpedo, and that's all that we really care about. Zero, four, so maneuver is four. Toughness is much better. Firepower, not really important. I don't think that it's going to matter much, frankly. I'm not expecting these torpedo bombers to be shooting down the stuff, the fighters that are attacking them. I'm really not expecting them to be attacked by many <coughs> fighters. So let's go with this middle one. The range is just absolutely the selling point. We'll take it. And with that, we can immediately start designing another one. My only stipulation for this is I never want to design the same thing twice, so I don't want to design another torpedo bomber. I think we should go with another float plane scout. We have two here, which always leaves me confused. Like, why do I have two? Because one's longer range, but one is faster. So this is longer range, 110 versus 90. Yeah. Let's just... Do another float plane scout. We have our new torpedo bomber. We'll obsolete the old one, which is 140 versus 176, 100. Yeah, much lower range, about a smidge faster, and much less tough. So, yeah, I think we're pretty happy with that. Float plane scout, range, and reliability. Get to work. Got to work. Um, what's next for us? Yeah, this battle cruiser is ticking ever closer. We want to have the budget available and even the funds available if we can store up a little bit to build a battle cruiser. Now the blue cruisers are going to be finishing, so you know what? We don't have to worry about it too much. These are going to free up a little bit of space <clears throat> in the form of like ten million total. So that's actually not that much because these were such such cheap ships. In fact, we already have one of the, the first ones already finished. And 20 knots, it's just amazing. Fantastic. Okay, I will say no to this because I didn't get the other blucher, so they all will have to be upgraded, so I will say no. Um, Minor Nation, demand they release the ship. Okay, our ship is in Northeast Asia next turn well, one more month and then we can refit our second carrier and as soon as that one's done by the way i believe we can start building purpose-built like carriers and we probably will or will we or can we start redesigning <clears throat> actually this is interesting what the whole hands lords i never even considered it could be our first purpose-built oh no, no no you can build like a uh, heavy you don't have to refit a heavy carrier or a fleet carrier i should say they can be built from scratch. They just need 8-inch guns for the first one. Oh, France. Well, we'll issue an ultimatum. Because we don't really have a problem going to war with France. 
Three more months before we get our new battle cruiser. She has all or nothing. She's gonna have all or nothing armor. She's not gonna. She's gonna have four center lines, superposed A, super. I mean, superposed B, superposed X, all the good stuff. We're just really waiting for oil firing though, which unfortunately means we have to wait for 1920. And we will definitely have the budget to build a few of her. And I don't, I'm not going to overbuild. I know I have a tendency to build, like, huge numbers. The Hohenzollerns here are a great case of that. Uh, and even the Van, uh, the Hamburg class here is a good case of that. I overbuild usually, but we won't do it this time. So we'll rebuild you to another carrier. Not much of a monthly cost, actually. In fact, it's actually cheaper than our normal. Yeah, because... <clears throat> we're just removing guns <laughs> so we got that one we have no problems with foreign stations where tensions are creeping up I don't want war with Italy again I don't so what do we want to do with that um, okay we have our minesweepers I actually do want to get some of these over. Let's just get groups of four over. Let's get four over to Northeast Asia. Let's get four others over to Southeast Asia. So we have some mine sweeping over in those areas. Those are the two places where I suspect we'll have the most uh, conflict. Now with France, that's mostly going to be in Southeast Asia. So with France or Italy, I guess... I'm going to move these guys, okay, I'm going to move them all to Southeast Asia for now. And that'll still leave me with 11 in home, so 8 away. I probably could build some more of those. They are minesweepers, which I do like. Ah, so minesweeping to 50. Mine lane 25. Where did these numbers come from? Oh, is it because these guys have to be active now? So I guess reserves don't do anything, which makes sense. But actives do. So we have eight moving, and those eight... don't know how it becomes... Mine lane of 25. How does that work? We must have somebody else on active. Yes, we do. We have all of our Glukstads on active. Oh yeah, all these guys who are getting done with their refits are coming back to... Alright, wait one month. Okay, new torpedo bomber for Japan. 109, wow, top speed 95. That is much better than us. <clears throat> and they have Yamashiro, which 13-inch gun. So we could defeat the Japanese should it come to that. All right, flying boat. It has worse range. It has better maneuverability, equal toughness. It's very similar. I don't think we should buy it. 600 is not a lot of money, but I don't see the benefit of this. Really as just maneuver, but I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> okay. What do we have under construction now? One, we only have two more months. These guys are eight months away. Hopefully we can wait before... <laughs> Wait for war. Although the blukers are ready, and I cannot wait to get those into action. So probably what we should be doing is spinning off some of the ham... Oh, look at this. Schleswig Holstein and Schlesien are just... It's impossible to keep them together. So um, we could spin off four of the Hamburgs to Southeast Asia. I think we're going to do that. Okay, I'll spin off five, six of them. That's a lot. But France doesn't have a fleet anyway, so yeah, we'll do this. <clears throat> we'll get f six of them over there. The things we do to keep the brothers together. Because the Blukers are going to be rolling out, and although I do want to refit them... Yeah. Uh, Japan? No. Because we would rather go to war with you. Okay. Okay. Just don't want war with in, uh, Italy. I no, there's just no purpose for us to go to war with Italy. And let's get these guys all to a reserve fleet. Just get everyone who can be. Oh, I can't do it that way. Let's do it this way. Reserve. Very good. <clears throat> so everyone else is to reserves. And 
Yeah, that's good. So the ones in Southeast Asia don't really need to be there anymore. And these, we haven't upgraded these yet. So as soon as these Moses come out, we're gonna have to slowly replace these. Or we could just do it with the slick teams, which, you know, honestly are also being re replaced. Yikes. In fact, how did we miss these? These should be being rebuilt as well. Just a, an oversight, I guess. And the tensions are not high enough yet, so we're okay. Uh, Balkans, we should always do this. Budget, tension, versus tension down. See what happens. Operational service. Okay, didn't matter much, just Russia, Great Britain. We don't want to fight Great Britain yet, I'd say. I still am a little tentative. I mean, USA is running away with the budget, but... Oh man, we, we could fight France again. We could make France as it always is in every gameplay of Rule the Waves. France is the whipping child. <laughs> Just always beat up. Yeah, we're the, really the only nation left with battleships, but that's because they're too slow to convert to carriers. Uh, I guess they, yeah, they are. 19. Um, prestige and tension versus, yeah, t that's fine. Okay, these are ready for evaluation. Let's see, we have max speed of, whoa, something really fast. In fact, none of these are as good. Damn it, anyhow. We just got a rough, rough run of it here. You'd expect the 113 to be better than the 112. It is. In fact, it's significantly better. Maneuver of eight. Toughness of, so if anything, we should keep this one. But the range of it is 96 versus 110. It is kind of a nice middle ground, honestly. Uh, reliability for both these other ones is poor, so let's go ahead and endorse this and see if we can eventually learn the reliability. Um, yeah, if the reliability is better, then we want to use it. And there's the big budget that we were hoping for. And it's February! Oh my gosh, we can design this ship, which will probably be our last action of this video. Or what may end up happening is that we end up trying to design it, but then we don't design it. We end up holding off until the next episode. So they're putting the 16-inch guns on it. I don't know. Should we go with 14? Should we go with 16? I guess it's late enough in the game that we should go with 16-inch guns. Okay, so 16-inch guns. Let's take 11 inches of belt, 3.5 deck. We'll go with all-or-nothing armor. Absolutely. Unfortunately for us, we don't have better than torpedo protection 2. Take conning tower down to, well, let's just leave it at 11 for now, and turrets must go up. 13 minimum. 13 turret top is 4. Secondary is down to 2. We want these in doubles. Can we do that? Not quite. Or, yeah, okay. Let's do this. Let's get eight of them per side. We don't, oh, we have dual purpose. Let's leave that off for now. Um, clear the torpedo mounts. We could put, we actually could put some seaplanes on this, but no, these are better off, I think, fighting. Uh, 29, we can take this down. So we can do oil, right? Tell me I'm not wrong. Yes. <coughs> I'm not wrong. Hooray, we did it. Take it down to speed of 28 because it's going to save us a thousand tons. And I think 28 is okay. <coughs> now, I don't like this design at all. We're going to actually kind of tweak a lot of this because I want triple turrets. Okay, so this is the same kind of design as what we were going with for the for the uh, blukers. I think it's still the best choice for us to go up to 105. Well, with 16-inch guns, we maybe don't need 105. Yeah, I mean, we might be okay with 100. So what are we trying to do with this thing? I, I don't know. Yeah. How expensive are you? What we could do instead is go with another semi-favorite of mine, the 3223. Which gives us, unfortunately, only one more gun, 10 instead of 9. And costs a significant amount. I usually think of battlecruisers as pursuing their targets. This would give us a good chase armor. I mean, this would give us a good armament if we're being chased. 
if we're running away or strategically repositioning to the rear. It's tough to say. I, I otherwise like a lot of the stuff about this. The turret probably could be higher as well. So probably what we need to do is go back, unfortunately, to the increased guns and delete this so that we can keep our turret higher. Just very nervous about flash fires. 3.5, 13.5, 4, that looks good. 3.5 there looks good. I like this now. I can drop this down a little bit. Um, 100, 105 maybe. Give her even more ammunition. Director firing out of eight single turrets. I mean, this is okay. She's 147 million. Remember, our blooker was like, what, 110? So just to give you an idea, she's probably not that much better. What were the blookers? I mean, they're 9 by 16. This is crazy. This is basically just a fast blooker with less armor. 26-inch guns, and we have only 16. It's a big sacrifice you need to make for a speed. Now, I'm okay with leaving it at 28. Oil firing means she'll be okay. Um, I guess anti-aircraft will be important. So we'll get we'll fill this up, especially because we want to leave a lot of space in the future for the um, tertiary guns to be dual-purpose double turrets. Or maybe even taking these down to like 5-inch dual-purpose. That actually sounds really good. Taking the secondaries down to 5 inch getting dual purpose and then eliminating some of the light anti-aircraft to do that in fact because we're going from 6 to 5 with our secondaries it'll it won't even be that necessary we should actually be saving some weight okay so we could add a couple of airplanes just two I don't think so I just I have a gut feeling that the way this is done the way the game's implemented you don't really need aircraft for scouting you kind of know where the enemy will be or if you don't scout them it just doesn't matter unless they can use anti unless they're using aircraft carriers against you it doesn't matter who scouts who you just need to get into visual contact before you can uh, <clears throat> we'll have radar eventually anyways too but like there's no such thing as like being surprised like oh there's an enemy suddenly both people know because they get a sighting report Like, there's not... I don't know. It's not like you can catch your crew swimming in the water or something. I don't know. So, let's take a look at the gun data for this. We are not immune to our own guns. Kind of expected. 3.5... I mean, the one thing I was going to think is that... Eh, we're actually close to not... We're actually close to being immune to our own guns around 21,000. And 13.5 for the turrets means that... At least we can hold our own until 17,000. Not even that much. Huh. Very interesting. So apparently the penetration above 30,000 is the same no matter what. Six inches of deck. Oh my gosh. Well, we're not going to be able to fight that. But this is quality 1, 16-inch guns. These are end-game stuff. So I think we're going to go with something like this. In fact, what I'll do is I'll save this model. We'll call this video to a close here. I'll let you guys provide some feedback. Oh, I hope I I may not allow you to... You can provide your feedback, and then I won't be able to uh, pay attention to it because I think I'll be recording another video before you get to see this one live. But in any case, it'll give me more time to think about it. So, yeah. I... So if I'm to make some final comments about this, uh, I like what we'll eventually do with the secondaries, and I would like for maybe higher turret top even, which we can do. Turrets are very important when this, well, obviously we want them to fire, and we don't want them to blow up. So at range, that'll help a little bit. How much would this be? We can almost do that. Drop this down. Okay, so close. Yeah, so this even seems better to me. So our three turrets are much better protected. I know that we have quadruple firing, but I just don't like it until we get the improved rate of fire for quadruples. I still have a feeling that quadruples have a lower rate of fire. Kind of offsets their tonnage advantage. 
So, although it is more guns, though, so you're getting a... I don't know. It's probably still good to do use... We'll probably do some 4, 3, 4s eventually um, for some of the later game battleships. So like an upgraded blooker type thing. But anyways, I'm going to wrap this video up here. So, thanks for watching. And Oh, well, and climb belt. Ah, I saw it. I saw it. <laughs> we'll do this, especially because our belt is... You know, we can even lower our belt down to 10 and probably get this up to... Yeah, something like this, which gives us enough to do five. Conning tower back up to 10.5. Or we can just get more of these guns again. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This will give us room for advanced director. Yeah, so we'll save this as the, uh, what will this be called? This will be called the fire dragon, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> so um there's the fire dragon for now we'll make some tweaks to her probably in the next video but until then thanks for watching and take care